Hey guys, get a little light going on here. This is JT with some of my um, after run thoughts of the new Arma Sense and BLX. You get, this is the actual 3S brushless 10 scale version that Arma has recently released. You guys know they also had a mega version that they released um, last year that was completely brushed. And of course, the brushless version is going to have a couple upgrades on it. So, right off the bat, I want to let you guys know because I'm getting a lot of uh, comments, I'm getting emails, I'm getting hit up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, blah, 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 about this one thing with this car, with this version and also the um the granite and even with the brush versions the question is is can these differentials handle brushless power yes they can they can they can they can so don't don't even don't don't ask me any more questions on that guys um, i'm answering it right here in this video it can it can handle it and it can handle it fine especially this brushless version now on the brush version it doesn't have a couple of modifications that this brush that this brushless one has so i'll try to review through that real quick um, but this car can handle it guys trust me on that um, i did run this and armor doesn't probably recommend this or horizon or anybody but i did run it without this shaft you guys know that this is spring launch i did run it just on two wheel drive thus the reason why my other tires i did get some new tires um my other tires were uh worn down to the nub you guys saw that i did wear those down i know you guys were asking about that and i just didn't comment yet because i wanted to make sure that when i put this out that what I was stating was um, thoroughly tested. And I did run it um, in two-wheel drive without this shaft. And it's not recommended to do it, but I wanted to see if this, if the gearbox can handle it. And it can handle it. Now, I know there's a lot of companies that do plastic gears in their cars that can't handle brushless power. Tamiya's got a few. Kyosho's got a few. Um, can't think of too many more, too many other companies. I know Associated also puts plastic gears in their cars. But you guys have to understand, it's not so much of having plastic gears in here it's going to be the material that they're made of and then also the precision and the meshing of the gears and Arma got this right guys i'm not going to even lie they did it good with the brush first because you guys know i ran that but there was one problem on the brushed that it wasn't meant for a brushless power like that so the input shaft that's actually in here you can't see this here actually broke because it's all plastic that has been solved with this brushless model. You can get that input shaft for the front and rear. It's like $4.99. So you guys can go to Horizon Hobby um, or Tower Hobbies and you guys can find that there. And you can get one for the front and for the rear. It's actually got a, a, a metal piece added onto the actual still plastic gear of it. But you won't have any problems with that. So get that out the way. Don't shy away from this because of that. Um, and speaking of parts for this, you can find parts for this. Um, Horizon's got... I think just about every part in stock for this, and so does Tower Hobby. So you guys can go there, and A Main's probably got some too. I haven't looked on A Main in a while, but I'm pretty sure if A Main's selling this, they have parts as well. Um, so they have parts for this as well. So you don't have to worry about part support. And if something breaks, you're going to be months and months without the part because you can find them on those two or three sites um, for that. I gotta say, guys, this truck has been very durable. I have run it a lot. You guys saw at the skate park. Even though I ran it on 2S, I didn't want to flip and tear that body up a lot or at least scrape it up. Um, this car has handled it. I haven't had any problems or issues. And for the price point of $299, you get one heck of a car. You can take this to a track locally and run it stock out the box on 2S and be very competitive with it. Um, for some of you guys that are really competitive, you might make minor adjustments like to the shock or even change the shocks out. Um, and you might change some of the oil and the differentials, but it's not hard to do. It's a couple screws and bam, you're in there and you can get that change. So you don't have to worry about that, but it performs great out the box. Um, if you're racing, you might make some minor adjustments like take the wheelie bar off to save on a couple of ounces on weight and maybe take these side guards off. I've seen people do that. But this platform has been good and solid, whether it's this one or the granite. You guys saw some of my thoughts and stuff on the granite. There are differences now. You do have adjustable turnbuckles with the brushless model. You guys see those drive shafts in there, front and rear are thick. They are not going to break anytime soon. If they do, it's probably going to be, I don't know, a year from now or something after a lot of corrosion gets on them and stuff. So you don't have to worry about those breaking and snapping either. With this car, I haven't had any issues or problems. Um, servo has held up fine. This is actually kind of an updated servo, and I think it's a... Uh, 14 hundredths of a second with speed and it's got I think 78 ounces of torque so it's fine the servo's fine the speed controller and stuff has been fine and working on this car is just like the brush version for you guys that don't know they kind of 
made this kind of a module like design and you can do um, a lot with, it's easy to work on that's the best way I can put it um, and if you have trouble working on this armor has a lot of videos on their YouTube channel showing you how to work on this car I'm showing you how to work on the brush model and some of the stuff on the brushless model but they're basically designed the same there's differences with this brushless model like you guys see here they actually added this is actually a ball bearing there and it's a spacer holder for that and that actually helps a lot too with all this power you're going through and of course this ain't this same design is going to be used on the big rock we're waiting on that armor come on we're waiting on that um is also going to be uh you utilized on there as well so i'm thinking they'll probably do a 15 tooth pinion gear on that one um where this one has a 20 tooth and then the granite 4x4 has a 15 tooth as well which brings me to other things as far as the gearbox is concerned. It does have 32 pitch gears instead of 48 pitch gears. Um, and it is a 57 tooth spur gear, um, 32 pitch, where the brush model had a, I think it was a 91 or 93. I can't remember offhand. It was 48 pitch gears. So, of course, it's got a better gear ratio to handle this brushless power. Um, no problems with the system at all. I've run this pack after pack on 3S, and I think this got up to about 150-something, maybe 160 if I was just constantly running, not giving it a rest at all, because I wanted to test the electronics, too, to make sure that there weren't any issues, and I didn't have any problems or anything um, with that as well. Um, other than that, guys, I mean, this has been a good platform. I'm going to be doing a lot more running and stuff like that with this car. Um, periodically, people may have issues I've, I've heard about with their shocks. Maybe the shock's a little bit leaking. Like, my shock was leaking a little bit, um, and I went ahead and just made a quick adjustment to it, and it was fine. So you're going to probably get that periodically with any kit that you see out there. I've had other people that open these up and have the other ones. They haven't had any problems with leaky shocks. So... You know, give or take, you'll have some miss one-off things every now and then periodically. But I haven't had any problems or issues with that. Um, I think that a lot of people, including me at first, I was not too fond of these EC5 connectors. But I went ahead and got a battery that matches it. And then I got a couple of um, adapters as well. So I haven't had any problems with that. This is, um, if you guys want to know some of the batteries I run, this is uh, the Reaction 50C 5000 milliamp battery. This is a pretty thick, big battery. And you guys see it fits right in there. Velcro, sta Velcro straps, bam, batteries in there. So uh, no problems or issues with this, guys. I mean, none whatsoever. I'm going to do a couple more videos on this, but Armour's got a good platform with this. Um, they've got it right where they did some of the upgrades that needed to be done from the brush model to the brushless model. Um, there are a couple things I think some aftermarket companies may make, like some ARs where you can have more adjustability. You guys see there in the shots because there's only one position there for that. Um, so maybe there'll be some aftermarket stuff that either Armor or maybe RPM may make for that to give you some adjustability to adjust your ride height of your car. But you see this actually sits pretty low. Um, and then somebody may do adjustments to the shocks and stuff. So, um, guys, that's some of my thoughts on this. Um, there's been no problems or issues. They got a good solid platform. I'm looking forward to what they're going to do with this going in the future as well. Because I'm pretty sure they'll do a stadium truck. Maybe an on-road car, a rally car, maybe. I don't know, but we'll see. So, anyway, guys, um, happy Halloween to you if you're watching this on Halloween night. Because it is Halloween night. I'm going to uh, go and chill and stuff. But happy Halloween to you guys. And as always, don't forget to like subscribe stay tuned for more videos and put your comments below thanks for watching